Hi friends and welcome. Um, in this video, this is a second, this is a continuation of the first video on matrices. And let's just have a quick review of what we looked at in the first video. In the first video, we defined matrices. We defined matrices to be mm, a, rectangular, a rectangular array of, of uh, expressions, values, or numbers. And we also said matrices can be, can be identified by their order. And we said the order of a matrix is simply the number of rows and the number of columns that it has. For example, if we've got matrix A, which has 2, 7, 3, and 1, 2, 4, and 4, 6, 3. This matrix can be identified by its number of rows and its number of columns, and this is known as its order. So this matrix has 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Um, rows, so it's a 3, and how many columns? 1, 2, 3, so it's a 3 by 3 matrix, okay? We looked at how to identify matrices in that way. Then we also looked at, we also looked at, um, at multiplication of matrices by scalar constants or by constants. For example, if we have the same matrix A and we're taught to say, to calculate, let's say, um, 3A. 3A will simply be 3 multiplied by each and every member of matrix A. So we're going to say 3 multiplied by 2 will give you 6. 3 multiplied by 7 will give you 21. 3 multiplied by 3 will give you 9. 3 multiplied by 1 will give you 3. 3 multiplied by 2 will give you 6. 3 multiplied by 4 will give you 10. 3 multiplied by 4, sorry, 3 multiplied by 4 will give you 12, sorry for that. 3 multiplied by 4 will give you 12, 12, uh, 3 multiplied by 6 will give you 18, and last 3, 3 multiplied by 3 will give you a 9. So 3a is simply equal to that. Okay, and this is where we ended in the previous tutorial. So we'll continue from there. We will continue from there. And let us look at um, addition and subtraction of matrices. Let us look at the addition and subtraction of matrices. So let's say you have been given two matrices A and B, and your matrix A, matrix A is equal to four, two, one. And your matrix B is equal to three, six, two. And you're asked to add matrix A to matrix B. You're asked to calculate or rather to give the, the value of matrix A plus matrix B. Okay, so one thing that you need to understand about matrices is matrices can be added or subtracted from each other, but this is all um, lying on a condition that the matrices are of the same order. Remember what order of a matrix is? Yes, the number of rows and the number of columns. So in short, for matrices to be added or subtracted from each other, they need to have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. Yes, so let's get into it. So when we look at matrix A and matrix B, do these two matrices have, uh, are they of the same order? Do they have the same number of rows? Do they have the same number of columns? Let's give it a quick analysis. How many rows does matrix A have? Matrix A only has one row, so it's a one. How many columns does matrix A have? It has one, two, three. So it is a one by three matrix. Am I right? Yes, I am. So how many rows does matrix B have? Matrix B has one row, so it's a one. How many columns does matrix B have? It has three columns. So it's a one by three matrix. So since it's a one by three matrix, and matrix A is also a one by three matrix, it means these two matrices can be added. So we can move on and add these two matrices. So now how do we add them? Well, we add each individual element of matrix A to a corresponding element in matrix B. Since they are the same order, they have corresponding 
um, elements. So we've got four here, and the first number there is three. We've got two there, the second number is six there. We've got one there and two. So four goes with three, two goes with six, and one goes with two. So four plus three gives you seven. Two plus six gives you eight. And one plus two gives you a three. So this is what you get when you add A to B. What if you are asked to say A minus B? How do we go about it? So as I said, each 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 element in A has a corresponding element in B. Each element in A has a corresponding element in B. So what we do is to subtract, we simply go by that correspondence. So we've got four matched with three, two matched with six, and one matched with two. So we say four minus three. So four minus three gives you one. Two minus six. What is two minus six? Two minus six. Now you can get it. Gives you a negative four. So we've got negative four. What is one minus two? One minus give one minus two gives you a negative two. Okay, so this is what we get as our answer when we subtract the two matrices. So let's try with two different matrices. Let's try um, addition and subtraction with two different matrices. Okay. So let us uh, have matrix X being equal to 5, 7, 11, 2, 1, and 3. And we should have another matrix Y being equal to um, 3, 6, 10, uh, 2, got 0 there, and we've got 1. And you are asked to say, find x plus y, is the first question. And the second question is asking you to say, find um, x minus y. So come on grade nines, come on grade twelves. Let's go through this together. But um, for 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 clarity's sake, or rather for for retention's sake, you can try doing this on your own and try and check with what we get later on. So you can pause the video and try doing these two uh, simple examples on your own. Okay. So let's move on. So x plus y. For x plus y. We first, the first thing, the first and most important thing that you have to do when you're dealing with addition and subtraction and or subtraction of matrices, the first thing that you do is to make sure that the matrices that you've been given are of the same order. And once you confirm to say they are of the same order, then you can move on and continue with, with the calculations. If you find that the matrices are of different order, then at that point, you can't do anything because they are of different order. So you can't add them, you can't subtract them. And I doubt that you will ever be given a question in which you've got matrices of different orders in uh, in any exam, in any ECZ exam. And I don't think you'll be given such a question in any Cambridge or any other exam that you'll be taking. So let's look at matrix X. What is the order of matrix X? Give it a try. Okay, so matrix X has how many rows? It has one, two, and three. So it's got three rows. So it's a three. And how many columns? One, two. So it's a three by two matrix. And let's come to matrix um, Y. Matrix Y has how many rows? One, two, three. So it's a three. And it has how many columns? One, two. Yeah, one, two. So it's a three by two matrix. Okay, so we can move on because these two are of the same order. So x plus y 
is possible we can find x plus y so as i said each element in a in, in in matrix x has a corresponding element in matrix y okay so let's look at um, matrix x we've got the five this five is corresponding with the three so five plus three five plus three gives you eight then we've got seven plus seven plus six seven plus six gives you 13 11 plus 10 which gives you 21 we've got 2 plus 2 which gives you 4 we've got 1 plus 1 which gives you 2 we've got 3 plus 0 which gives you 3 so this is what we get when you add matrix x to matrix y what do we get for the second example which is x minus y so matrix x minus matrix y gives you okay so same procedure as addition except this time will be will be subtracting so 5 minus 3 gives you a 2 then 7 minus 6 gives you 1 11 minus 10 gives you 1 2 minus 2 gives you 0 1 minus 1 gives you uh, 1 minus 1 gives you 0 and 3 minus 0 gives you 3 so this is what we get when we subtract matrix y from matrix x so that's that about addition so let me just give you a simple question one last question before we move on to the next part in matrices so here's a simple question that we can try together and that you can try alone uh, most importantly that you can try alone and see if we can arrive at the same answer in this question so our third question is saying matrix a is equal to 2 1 0 3 2 1 Then we've got matrix B being equal to 1, 5, 3, 2, um, 1, and F0 at the bottom there. Okay. So only one question. And that question is saying um, 2A plus B. So common grade nines, common grade twelves. Let's try and find the answer to that question, which is saying 2a plus b. Okay, so you can pause the video, give it a try, and let's see if we will, if we will arrive at the same answer. Okay, so I am starting. So how do we go about this simple, simple question? Hmm. Let's think together. We've got 2a plus b. This is a bit more complicated um, than what we've been doing because it's combined the two concepts, the two most important concepts that you've learned so far, which involves, um, which are the order of a matrix, which has, uh, which also involves um, multiplication of a matrix by a constant, and which also, it also has um, addition of two different matrices. Okay, so what do we do? What do we do? So let's start with, dealing with the first part which is saying 2a so we started dealing with this part which is saying 2a okay so how do we deal with this 2a so if you recall from the previous video we said um, when you have 2a when you are multiplying a matrix by a certain constant you are simply multiplying that constant throughout the matrix so to get to a 2a is simply equal to 2 multiplied by everything in this matrix, which is matrix A. So 2 multiplied by 2 gives you a 4. 2 multiplied by 1 gives you 2. 2 multiplied by 0 gives you 2 multiplied by 0. Common grade 9s, common grade 12s, gives you 0. 
2 multiplied by 3 gives you a 6. This is a 6. 2 multiplied by 2 again gives you 4. And lastly, 2 multiplied by 1 gives you 2. So this is the value of 2a. Then we're saying 2a plus b, which is equal to, um, let me just copy that down again, 1, 3, 1, 5, 2, 0, k. So now how do you go about adding these two? So the first and most important thing is to make sure that they are of the same order. So what is the order of 2a? It has two rows, right? So it's a 2. And how many columns? 3. So it's a 2 by 3 matrix. And you look at matrix B. Matrix B has two rows as well and three columns. So it's also a 2 by 3 matrix. So these two matrices can therefore be added together. So to add them, you get the corresponding elements in each matrix and add them. And that will give us our final answer, which will, give, which will be our final matrix. So 2A plus B is equal to 4 goes with this one. So 4 plus 1 gives you, yes, you're right, 5. 2 plus 3 gives you 5 as well. 0 plus 1 gives you 1. 6 plus 5 gives you 11. 4 plus 2 gives you 6. And 2 plus 0 gives you 2. So therefore, that is our final answer. And that is how you go about addition, multiplication, and subtraction of matrices so in, if you can if you've noticed our last example is a bit can be seen as a bit more challenging than the examples that we've been looking at because it has combined all the elements that we've done this far which is um, identifying the order multiplying by a constant and addition okay so thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video as we move on into more interesting uh, uh, components of matrices. Thank you very much.